Welcome to Maya's Heart and Reflection for another podcast. And uh, today's topic, we're going to just have a look at feeling empty. As usual, my desire is to speak a word of wisdom and hope and faith into your life. A word, at least a word. And um, our big question for the topic is, have you ever felt emotionally drained? Feeling empty without any substance? Uh, are you literally done, like physically, emotionally, spiritually, or mentally? All right, let's dive right into this. But before we do, we're going to pray. And of course, my prayer method is used in the form of ACTS. And I'm just going to pray from Psalm 63. Prayer for understanding and wisdom. All right, let's begin. O oh Lord, you are my God, my Heavenly Father protector and provider. It is because of you and your love and your divine plan. That's the reason I'm alive today. I confess the things that my soul desire to do and I don't do it. I sleep and I do not seek you early in the morning. Uh, my lips withhold praises of your love and kindness and my hands aren't used to lift your name in worship. I ask for your forgiveness in these matters as I seek your help in understanding the benefits and purpose of being faithful and maintaining a relationship with you. Father, now I understand what it means to lay awake thinking about all that you have done to help me to succeed and overcome adversities and trials. Thank you for being my shield and protection, for holding me up spiritually when I would have fainted in despair of being overwhelmed with adversities pouncing on me from every direction. Because I now know who you are and that I'm your child, I can now say that those plotting against me will meet their ruin and I detest their attack. If they refuse to stop, they will be you know, met with the same attacks and be taken down by the same type of attacks they're rendering. Thank you for hearing my heart's prayer and understanding my immediate feelings of emptiness. Lord, I pray for your protection as I go through the season of trial in the fire of judgment and speculation. I pray for victory over my difficult situations that keep me up at night in fear of an unfavorable outcome. I pray for others who are in a similar situation as myself. I pray for favor to be showered on them, fear to be released and victory to be reported. We know in you we believe and that you are a God that keeps your promises. Your word said that we are the apple of your eye, and that no man can pluck us from your hand. We rest assured that you stand by your words, and we believe that you are faithful to keep your words, as we know that your words will never return to you empty. So, Father, thank you for speaking peace, and grace over our lives that we willingly give back to you with joy for your service and your glory. Amen. According to the Oxford Dictionary and Thesaurus, the word feeling mean having the ability to feel things like sadness or happiness or a mental or physical awareness to be emotional, susceptible. And um, emptiness or empty means containing nothing, meaningless, without purpose, unfulfilled, void, blank, hollow, and the list goes on. This state of being is most evident when life is lived without a purpose. Where there is no plan or vision, the people will perish. 
Having a plan to work towards something will give you a purpose to go forward and remove the state of emptiness and add value to your life. This means that your action or actions toward fulfilling a goal will attract observers and add value to who you are and what you can offer. You will lift yourself up from the pit of emotional darkness and start to be a light that others may want to follow. Just for example, like in Nehemiah 2, 11 to 20, we must be purposeful like Nehemiah to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Be determined to do that. Philippians 1, 20 to 24, be steadfast like Paul with his life goal of winning others to Christ with truth. Don't waver, just be steadfast. And Joshua 14, 6 to 15, be determined like Joshua to claim the hill country and claim God's promise as well as to carry out his plan. So my prayer is that you will have a vision of God's plan for your life and that you will be seriously starting to read the Bible, his instruction manual for life. Have a plan, but ensure God is in the center of it all. May God bless you and deliver you from the state of emptiness and feelings of emptiness. Thank you.